everyone. I hope you are all having a wonderful week so far. Uh, so this week's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, routines and, you know, they say rituals and routines or uh, often medical professionals and um, companies will pathologize um, the autistic uh, attachment to routine. Uh, and that can be, you know, eating the same foods, uh, every day for every meal or that can be uh, doing you know your morning routine in the same order every day uh, or just you know whenever just having a very specific way of doing things like you know when I would go to the office I used to have a very specific way I would have to set everything on my desk before I started work um, because it just didn't feel right until it was set up uh, so I just wanted to share a little bit about my perspective on this because it, it it hurts a little bit that I hear this pathologized so much because, you know, for me and, um, you know, I have, you know, sometimes, I well, I have, no, not sometimes, I have issues with my working memory, uh, sometimes called executive functioning, uh, where it's like, you know, for example, when I'm shampooing and conditioning my hair in the shower, like, I do little visual things to help me know what step I'm on because I don't remember, like, did I shampoo already twice? Did I condition? So it's like, I'll, like, move the bottle around in the shower as I do each step so I, it, so I know that what step I'm on. But I, and I always do that. It's like a routine. Uh, or, like, my routine in the morning that helps me stay organized is I... You know, I tend to kind of get ready and do everything in the same order so I don't forget a step. Uh, I have all my stuff out, you know, visually and I put it away as I finish with it. It helps me, you know, know what step I'm on. But really just doing the things in the same order every day uh, helps me just to be more organized. You know, I always try to find the most efficient way to do something and then that becomes my routine. Because I'm like, oh, this is the best way, so I'll just do it this way every time. Um, you know, and it's the same thing, you know, with going to work, uh, every now and then I'll try to make myself mix it up and go a different route, but really, you know, just like, I feel uncomfortable here just thinking about it. I do it every day, every now and then because I know it's good for me, but I like to just drive the same route to work every day because I know how to get there. It's just so familiar to me that I can just be relaxed and drive. Uh, and it's not stressful. Um, so it just it's just helping to minimize chaos in my life by sticking to a routine. Other tendencies, like sometimes when I get really into one food uh, and I will eat that food every meal, every day for a long time, that's not so good. I understand nutrition, um, but sometimes just having that one meal that you can count on uh, and is comforting and you know it's going to taste good when you have sensory issues and sometimes you know things that taste good one day might be wrong in your mouth the next day uh, if there's something you know is a good go-to food that you can always count on even when your sensory issues are aggravating you and your taste buds and your it's just it's just so nice to have the food that you know will never let you down <laughs> um, so anyway those are just a few thoughts uh, and just personal perspective on, you know, just ritual, they say rituals and routines uh, and how, you know, I use that you know, to stay organized and like I said earlier, to just really minimize chaos in my day. It just helps me have a calmer day. Uh, so anyway, let me know, do you, do you have certain routines that you use to you know, help uh, keep yourself organized or do you use routines? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm always interested in hearing your feedback. Uh, I put out new videos every Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe and turn on uh, notifications so you don't miss it. I will talk to you all next week. Bye!